Today, let's talk GoPros and overheating. I've really seen a whole lot of people have been able to find consistent solutions for this, and I've kind of been doing some research myself. I've gotten some good advice, and I think I finally cracked the code, so I'm gonna give it to you guys. Let's just jump straight into it. I'm, I'm not about to milk this and intro myself. Let me show you the settings. So you got your GoPro. I have a Hero 11 Black for me. I'm gonna put up on screen the settings I use. So let's start off with the main menu settings. Video mode set to highest, controls pro, and then of course, let's jump into the preferences. Now for wireless connections, when I am recording, I do have the connections turned off. This is, uh, I saw some articles say that this facts into some of the heating because of the Wi-Fi being on. So just make sure that's off when you're recording. I haven't really ran tests of it on or off, but just turn it off. Turn it on when you get home and you have to upload something. Go to displays next. This is going to be one of the key ones. Orientation sets all. Screensaver rear set to one minute and the screensaver front set to never. Um, even though for mine, mine still goes uh, off and I see the red light blinking when it is recording. Set your brightness to 10 and then, of course, the rear screen grid. Put that on off. Now, the key with this, and this is honestly kind of the saving grace for me. When I tried recording just normally, wouldn't work out. Looping was my saving grace. I'm going to link an article down below of actually how to set the looping, but I'm also going to show you here in towards this video. So when you have your camera powered on and you're in the video mode, you press that. Now, there might already be a looping preset, so make sure you scroll down and check it. If there is not, in the top right, there is two little arrows with two rectangles in between them. Click that. After you do click it, click the plus sign, and it's going to give you an option. It should say video, and there should be one with looping. Click looping. It'll move you to the next part of it where it'll show the settings where I have that up on screen. 1080p, 60 frames per second. Uh, I haven't really tried to experiment yet with doing 4k i am perfectly fine with 1080 it still comes out looking crisp for me for the stuff that i use it for my goalie videos lens sets a wide and for me i do 60 minute intervals reason being i only play 45 minute halves and i stopped the recording and i restarted i could if there was an interval that worked out for me like that i'd probably do it but when i set it to 60 it cuts every single video up for you in intervals of five minutes which is great for editing it's phenomenal for storage space even though i do wipe everything off of my SD card once I actually have my videos made. So just keep that in mind. Hyper smooth off, schedule capture off, timer off. Those don't really make any sense. And then the shortcuts, I don't really use the shortcuts anyway. There is one thing that I do want to note because I had this issue. I was like, why aren't my videos saving? What's going on? There's a lot of the times in looping, I've had it pop up to where all my recordings show up in those five minute intervals that I just talked about. But there is another thing to where it'll just pop up and say you have one five minute recording. So you're like, okay, all my videos got deleted. No, they are on your SD card. And if you actually go into the quick app on your phone with GoPro, all the five minute videos will pop up. If you put your SD card into your computer, all those videos will pop up. So I just want to make sure that there's no confusion because it did get me there for a while. They were showing that and I'm like, okay, it's not recording. Let me delete it. Do not do what I did. Hook it up to your computer, download the app. All those five minute videos will end up popping up. So now that we got the settings out of the way, uh, this is probably the most important part. You're going to wave goodbye to the standard GoPro battery. It overheats like crazy. This is like really the main source of, of what's going on with the GoPro, why it may be turning off when you're out in the heat. And to give some perspective, I play goalie, I make soccer videos. My GoPro and, and the power bank I'm about to show you sits outside in 90 degree weather. I live out in the Midwest. I'm in Illinois. So it just bakes in the sunlight and it has not turned off yet two weeks in a row of using this. So scrap the battery. Make sure also for your SD card, the one that was recommended to me, I'll put the Reddit user up there. Uh, he kind of saved my life with this, with the advice, the reason I am making this video. Make sure you get yourself a Lexar SD card. Um, I'm honestly not sure what the difference is, but he did say some of the SD cards were factoring in with the overheating. I'm not sure the truth in that, but I was like, at this point, I'm in desperation mode. Let me try something else. So I ordered this links to everything will be down in the description below. And then the INIU portable charger is actually on sale right now. So it will run you about $20. If you don't get it on sale, I think standard price is about 35 to $37. So make sure you go get that. And it's honestly as simple, the same cord that you use to charge it. It's also the same one that you're going to use to power the GoPro. So the combination of these together, I'm not sure the entire lifespan on this. He has told me that he has gotten six hour recordings out of this. I don't even need to try to test that amount out for that long. But for me, I know that once I recorded basically a total of 90 minutes with obviously it being off when we hit halftime. I still had a full charge that I could end up using from this. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you're having a lot of the issues with the GoPro over here, again, everything linked, the GoPro, 
the little tripod that I have, the power bank, the SD card will all be in the description below if you want to test this out. I hope it helps.